There you go, fellas. Here we go, we got the Belgian pills. It's a bit of sauce. Should be good. Fully imported. Hard to crack bottle. Shit. We get something better than a butter knife. Give my dad a little bit, he can have a try of this. Yeah. Cheers. Five percenter. Yeah, it's all right. Good. Good. New time. beer on the block. I haven't seen that before. Saw it the other day, so we'll give that a crack. Made in Belgium, can't complain, just got, why is it saying real on the side in a picture of Belgium, it's like they're pushing it a big deal aren't they? Yeah, all, all their beer was made in monasteries when I was there. Yeah, and pretty much still is. Is it? Oh. Yeah, but yeah. they've got a few breakaway little brewers. Doing yeah. their own stuff now, but geez, the monastery beer is beautiful. Yeah. The mate there, he, he said uh, there were a hundred, but that's nearly a hundred years ago. <laughs> Not quite a hundred, fifty no. maybe. <laughs> Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. When I was there. Yeah. yeah. No, they have got a lot of breweries and they've got a, a, a shitload from the monastery still. But not a hundred, I don't think, anymore. Eh? Not a hundred anymore. No. Uh, I think there's only one in Holland. Yeah. And there's X amount, like 10 or 12 or something in Belgium. And then there's one in Germany or three in Germany or something. There's not many. And one in France. Yeah, there's yeah. not hundreds anymore. No. No. So oh. this one's not in a... In a monastery, it doesn't say monastery or Trappist beer. There's no mention of Trappist here. No. It's just someone's making this up. And they're um, in Belgium. Well, it could be good. It tastes all right. It's yeah. nothing crazy. It is. Good. It's only 5%, so it's not knocking you over the top like a lot of the Belgian brews are like yeah. 10 percent and nine percent yeah and one of them you're like whoa yeah, I, seem, I seem to remember that mm. we, we went out one night in italy and we drank a few beers but we didn't have many and we were all walking around funny because we're having the strongest dark beer in the world it was 13.4 percent or something and the strongest blonde was 12.3 or something and you had like four beers, and you're like, oh, whoa, that's it. <laughs> it's like having 12 beers or 10 yeah. beers, yeah. Strong beers. Europe's got a lot of strong beers. They're oh, right yeah. in winter. Um, yeah. One one nice strong one, that's it. You sit back and just enjoy yeah. it. No, oh, this isn't bad. Oh, well, cheers, Dad. You yeah. got a story to tell us? Your favourite country? Belgium, yeah. I, I uh, lived, lived at a mate's place with his, he had his mother and father there and they looked after me. It was winter and uh, the guy was a hairdresser and when he didn't have any any cuts to do, we'd, he'd, he taught me how to do play chess. Play chess? Yeah. Off of Belgium? In Belgium, yeah. That's amazing. But they play a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Back then they did. Don't know about now. Don't know. Haven't been back. But you played chess before that? Uh, no, I'd played drafts, that's about all I'd play. Yeah, you never learned chess before you got to Europe. Fair income. No, yeah. That's amazing. He showed me a few moves. But that's great. Which I've forgotten. <laughs> It's weird, I remember at primary school, they had different clubs you could go into. 
Yeah. And every, all the guys, they got to pick like motor mechanic and all these other ones, woodworking and things. Because their name was lower on the list, and I was a P for power. Yeah. So I got to pick when there was only left was stamps, and you know hardly any good clubs to sort of pick. And once I picked chess. Oh yeah. yeah. So in grade six at primary school, I've, I've ended up in the chess club. Chess club. Yeah. I didn't want to be in there. No. <laughs> But I'd learned chess earlier, so when I went in there, I played chess. Yeah. And I beat everyone. Oh, God. And then I played the teacher and I beat him too. <laughs> and then one of the players invited me, or you know, one of the other kids, invited me to his house until he could beat me. Bruce Seagrave. And he lived not far from my joint on Gateshead Drive. Yeah. And I went around there about three times, and I think the fourth time I let him beat me so I didn't have to go there ever again. <laughs> no. Mum and Dad weren't friendly. I didn't get a cup of tea out of him, you know <laughs> what I mean? And he was too focused. He just wanted to win, and he yeah. just couldn't do it. I just had to let him win. To win. So I won. Yeah. <laughs> he never won. <laughs> you left that on? Yeah, it's still going. That's what it's all about. Just relaxing, not thinking that it's on. When you think it's on, you don't talk normal. Yeah. Start yeah. talking shit. Anyway, alright, see you fellas. See you, Dad. Cheers, mate.